a very interesting topic for you on Blogosphere today, which is that there are talks of cricket being reintroduced in the 2022 Commonwealth Games. And there's also some chatter around the fact that it could be a mixed-gender T20 league. Very interesting, Sanjana. And joining us to talk more about this on Blogosphere today are Paul Dennett and Chetan Narula. Paul, I'll come to you first. What do you make of this entire development? I would love to see cricket come back into the Commonwealth Games. I mean, there's no more emblematic sport of the Commonwealth than cricket. And if they're looking for a way to boost the Commonwealth Games' popularity, well, I'll tell you what, if you start the tournament with uh, India against Pakistan at Edgbaston, I guarantee that'll be the most watched sporting event of the entire Commonwealth Games. I remember the 98 Commonwealth Games and how disappointed I was when Australia couldn't quite win the gold medal. South Africa beat us in the final. I'd love a chance for a, for a little bit of revenge. As for being a, a mixed gender tournament, you know, that'd be fine. I think that it'd be fascinating to see players like Harman Preet Kaur or Meg Lanning come up against some of the, the male fast bowlers. But ideally, I think they should just have a men's tournament and a women's tournament. If the ECB are reluctant to have a men's tournament because they think it's going to clash with their, their new T20 competition, then just have a women's tournament. I mean, the, the WBBL has started in Australia now to massive ratings. The, the World Cup final uh, recently between India and England was a sellout at Lords. Uh, bring it on. But definitely, I'd love to see some form of cricket back in the Commonwealth Games. Wow, Paul Dennett seems really excited about this development. But what does Chetan Narula make of it? I don't necessarily think it's a good idea because uh, the rules are a bit different in women's cricket and men's cricket. I mean, the boundaries are a bit shorter when it comes to the T20 format in women's cricket. And more importantly, the pace of the game in women's cricket is a bit slower than uh, the men's cricket. And in the last one or two years, I think uh, women's cricket has carved out a niche for itself. So I don't know why we are asking them to rely once again on men's cricket to go on a platform as big as the Commonwealth Games. Uh, I think women's cricket can be a separate sport when it comes to the Commonwealth Games, as well as men's cricket can be a separate sport because cricket as a whole has been trying to become a part of the Olympic movement and this will be a big step forward in that direction. Both women's cricket and men's cricket have in, in themselves alone to stand out as individual sports in, in Olympics cricket. And, uh, you know, if you, if you bring about a mixed tournament, a mixed gender tournament, that might just dilute the game a bit. And that is not something that you would want for cricket on as big a stage as uh, either the Commonwealth Games or uh, the Olympic Games. I think we can unanimously agree that this is a great initiative, but it has its fair share of work to be done. But thank you so much for joining us today on Blogsphere. Gentlemen, as always, it was great to have you.